Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Jumpstart 3rd Grade. This is, I think it's the 4th episode, maybe? I'm not sure, I think it's the 4th. Um, and we're gonna do what we do usually. Just go save the universe from bringing back a robot and that's basically what we're doing every single episode. So, let's get straight into it. Okay, let's see what we're on. No time to pat ourselves. Think of each oh. we've already. Okay. We've already. We're on number four. Let's go. Magicians used to be in charge of curing the sick. If you were sick, you had magic performed on you to make you healthy again. Today, if you get sick, you go to the doctor, not to the magician. Thank goodness times have changed. When you get sick, the role of a doctor is to figure out what's wrong with you and then prescribe the treatment necessary to get you better. What's the role of a nurse? Since the thing that never fails to make me feel better is cake and ice cream, I guess that's what nurses give their patients. Mmm, mmm, ice cream and cake. Medicine like that makes you feel better instantly. <laughs> that's exactly right, Polly. There's nothing better when you're very sick than chocolate cake a la mode. Polly thinks you help sick people by giving them dessert. What a disaster. People will be trying to get sick just so they could go to the hospital and get ice cream and cake. What about people who really are sick? We gotta stop her. Click on the inventory button to put away the transquizzer. Cool your pits, Hotly. Here's the situation. I've sent the robot doctor, Dr. Bugbot, back in time. If you want to find the good doctor, you'd better locate these four clues. A baby bottle, a lamp, a tablespoon, and a bar of soap. Not Dr. Bugbot. If I get a computer virus, he's the only one who can get the bugs out of my program. Oh, we better get a move on quick. Stand back now while I sense the place out. Okay, all sensors indicate that Polly hit a mission clue in the music hall. There's another mission clue in the professor's virtual collection. That's in the art gallery. Okay, so we've got two mission clues to go. First, we're going to go to the virtual collection. Okay, Botley and Company, there is a clue in the virtual collection. You just have to figure out where. Would it be too much to ask you for a little hint, Polly? Instead of telling you a hint, would you mind if I sent you smoke signals? Forget the smoke signals. I know what Polly means. Go find a piece of symbolic sculpture carved by Native Americans. This Native American totem pole has symbolic meaning. Can you crack the code? I think I found it. Nice. Ding dong, Polly calling. Before I give in that easy, here's another obstacle. Here we go. Not a problem, no need to panic. Just take your time and match the sides. All the work on this puzzle comes from Africa, and it is gorgeous. Right there. This over there. I, I just put the paintings together, basically. Um, <clears throat> this will have to be over here, right? Yeah, I think so. Like that, and then this. Boom. Hmm, maybe over here. And maybe over here. Hmm. There we go. Well, okay. the door's locked again, and there's a new password. I hate to bother him, but... Hey! Beethoven! No need to shout, Bartley. I'm here and ready to help, if you need it. Okay, let's go. I think I know... I know what this is. It says head. Head! Okay. Got a... mm, got the elbow. 
eye. You've got a and the nose. Great. No. And this has to be body. Well, got a... Bam. Correct. The password is body. They say music soothes the savage beast. Let's hope it works on Polly. Hmm. Insult me all you like. I'm still kind enough to offer you a mission clue. And all I ask in return is this one little song. Make sure nothing's off key, please. Let's do it. Click on... Piano, of course. Okay. The Piano. Here we go. No, piano. There we go. I think this is it. Way to go! This song is called Pop Goes the Weasel. In slang, that means that all my money's gone and I'll have to sell my baton to survive. To enjoy this music. That was great. With the mission. This floor is empty. On to the next floor. Sensors on. I'm gonna run a sweep of this floor. Great. I've got a strong reading in the shrinking machine room. Nice shrinking machine room. Again, <laughs> it's the fourth time in a row. That's okay. Here we are, back at the shrinkomatic. I'm here to help if you need me. Let's hear the let's there hear is a Polly's mission clue. hidden inside one of the specimens, Dotley, and it's your mission to figure out which one. So, here's your hint. Pardonnez-moi, Monsieur Egbert, but the moist and slimy specimen has jumped out of the frying pan. What? Oh dear. Okay. She's cooking my specimens again. Hmm. Okay, I think I found it. I think it's a frog. Because she said moist and slimy creature, and she had a fr French accent, and it says here France. So, let's take this frog, and let's find oh that eyes, mission clue. Me. That's French, you know. She's a far better thing harder! Okay, just hit it, hit it, hit it, get in. Whoa! We got it! Nice. That's it! Take the clue and put it in your inventory. Then, on to complete this mission. Let's move on. Next floor. Stand back now while I sense the place out. Huh, I'm getting a strong clue reading in the robot maze. Nice, you haven't been here yet. Uh, only like, we've only been here for uh, XP, but you guys know what this thing is. Uh, I need to program my robot to make it to the end of the maze. And it's really, it's one of the easy ones and short ones, that's why I like it so much. So let's just do it real quick. 
uh, once this loads, here we go. Okay, we know what to do. Um, let's see, so we have a, we have two jumps here, so I know it's gonna be jump, jump, that's what I basically know. So, let's go west three, is there a west three? Let's do west one, west, west two, that's three, and then jump to the west. And we're right here. From here, we'll do another west two, right? And then south two, and then jump south, and then south three, yep. We did it. Nice going. You had him in the palm of your hand the whole time. Great. Boom. Okay, we have everything we need, but we still need 1,000 points, so I'm going to skip until I have 1,000. Okay, we've got all the points. Uh, just want, before we go into the uh, the quiz machine, I just want to say that I wanted to shorten my videos, so I'm going to cut out the shorting machine because it's not very interesting. I'll just show the last parts of each uh, four items so we know where to go. Let's go. Who in the hospital? Make sure you take the medicine you need to get better. Um, the nurses, of course. That's right! <laughs> nurses, make sure patients get the medicine that doctors prescribe. People have always cared for the sick, but nursing wasn't always considered a profession. Aha! Polly sent Dr. Bugbot back to the time when the profession of nursing was first established. Keep going, you're doing great! What famous woman in history was called Lady of the Lamp because she offered hope to people? Florence Nightingale. Correct! Florence Nightingale was a famous nurse who walked from hospital bed to hospital bed with a lamp. That's why people called her Lady of the Lamp. She also opened the first college for nurses and invented the profession of nursing. Excellent! Florence Nightingale is the person in history we need to find. Dr. Buckbutt, we're almost on our way! The first operation using an anesthetic was performed in 1842. On which date were you most likely to get an anesthetic before an operation? 1860. You got it! By 1860, anesthetics became widely available. 1860 also marks the year when Florence Nightingale started the world's first college of nursing. Excellent! 1860, here we come! The country where the first vaccine was invented also controlled the largest empire in history. Which country was that? Well, of course, it's England, Great Britain. Jolly good! During the 1800s, England was so rich and powerful, it could afford to improve medicine and public health. It was also in England, where the profession of nursing was established by Florence Nightingale. Hip hip cheerio, we've done it! Let's go to 1860 in England to make Florence Nightingale invent nursing. Fasten your seatbelt and click on me when you're ready to go. Hey, it's visiting hours in England. Let's go watch Florence Nightingale as she makes her rounds. The Lady of the Lamp is inventing the profession of nursing. Better watch out, Florence Nightingale. Dr. Bugbot's got a prescription for disaster. He wants to feed your patients ice cream and cake. Oh no, the Lady of the Lamp didn't hear us. Hit the recall button. Alright, saving the world sure makes a robot hungry. Too bad the doctor didn't bring the ice cream back with him. Now hold on while I steer this contraption back. Phew, we made it back. Always a good sign. Press the back button on the utility belt to... Hey, things are looking up here. We've added another robot to the roost. Can you say sweet dreams? Cool. Plotly 
plodly, plodly, plodly. What am I going to do with you? Are you trying to make me fail this test? I guess I'll have to make it a little tougher on you to get the next robot. No time to pat ourselves on the back. Select another question so we can save another robot. Click on the inventory to start a mission. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode um, that we saved our fourth robot. And I will see you in the next episode. Peace.